this is my PlayStation 3 Slim. So I've actually realized when I rev whenever I run games on it, and sometimes I stay on the XMB too long, like viewing trophies while while a game's running, it just completely freezes. I always gotta power it off from power to turn it back on. I don't know if this happens to others, but to me it does. But I've actually removed the hard drive from it and I cleaned the dust around it inside the hard drive bay and it actually ran faster because I think that's because the dust clogged up the hard drive and it caused it to perform slower and now my PS3 booted up faster. I'll show you how to remove the hard drive and put it back in. Okay, so you gotta flip your PS3 around and pull this with your maybe thumbnail or and let it go out also the other side and there's this hidden blue screw you gotta unscrew with a cross screwdriver I'll be unscrewing that once it's unscrewed just close the cover to prevent damage when I place it down flat again now removing this blue screw you can now remove this piece in here from the hard drive just put maybe your thumbnail to there and pull it. Nothing bad will happen to your PlayStation system. Um, I gotta just pause the video to do it real quick. Okay, now once you removed this, you should also take a look back to clean some dust off it. Because I did that. It's still kind of dirty, but never mind. Once you removed it, this is what it should look like. Here is the hard drive. So nothing bad will happen if you pull this, pull this pin, whatever. Okay, then you slide out the hard drive. There. It just goes out very easily. Okay, so this is a 160 gigabyte SATA Hitachi. It works very well, but you shouldn't cover this hole as it says. If you want to replace it, then you gotta unscrew these four screws and then slot in the new, take out this hard drive from this metal frame and put in the new one, screw back in. So yes, and then just you gotta clean up inside your hard drive. See, I just put some flash there. I already did it some of it, but I couldn't reach in more dust, so I just gave up but I kind of cleaned up the front you know to perf make it perform better okay so if you're done cleaning just take your hard drive and slot it back inside just like this put this pin back up like this there just put it in as far as it can go and it has to be flat perfect then you just put this cover back on wait my camera is not focusing oh my god can't focus does even matter come on oh i gotta pause to focus it never mind it focused so now just put it in cover slide it in kind of oh god jesus i think this will be fine now once you're done that, flip the PS3 again, open the screw like earlier in the video, put the screw in, and just screw it back in, just screwdriver, oh god, fingers are sticky, oh my god, come on screw, okay, Jesus Christ, I'm holding my phone in my left hand. I'm screwing my right hand, so it's impossible. Okay, now it's screwing in. How long is this taking? You know, you should screw it as tight as possible to lock that, you know, that gate thing, whatever, where the hard drive is in. You want to lock it up the most. Okay, this is enough. Let's close it down. Put the PS3 flat again and you're done. 
one thing I'm gonna just say is that the um, if you put in the same hard drive back in the PS3, like you take it out first time and put it back in, nothing bad will happen. You start up like normal because it's programmed to that PS3. But if you're replacing a hard drive, you're gonna have to format it, you know, install the new software on it and everything. You're gonna have to like delete all the data from the new hard drive. But if it's the old hard drive, like the original, you put it back in, it'll start up fine. Thanks for watching this tutorial.